This video was sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Liberal media bias. For decades, conservatives and moderates alike have decried it, while more left-leaning folks have tended to claim it's no more than an unfounded conspiracy theory propagated by right-wingers. So, what's the truth? Well, unfortunately for our purposes, media bias is a pretty difficult thing to quantify. After all, the media itself is a complex network of many people with different values and interests. The end. But in all seriousness, while quantifying media bias is difficult, there are some figures at our disposal which some may find enlightening. For example, a nonpartisan crowd pack analysis found that members of the entertainment industry as well as print media donate almost exclusively to left-leaning candidates. And they aren't the only ones to notice this. The Center for Public Integrity found that during the 2016 election, 96% of all the money donated by journalists went to Hillary Clinton. And before you go blaming Trump for that, in 2012, all major media companies made larger contributions to Obama than to Romney. While it's nice to have data on this, to many it comes as no surprise. According to figures from Gallup, from 2001 to 2009, the public has consistently ranked the media as too liberal. And numbers show that Democrats are far more likely to trust the media than Republicans, with 72% of Democrats reporting that they had a great deal or fair amount of trust in the media, compared to only 14% of Republicans. Which brings us to a chicken or egg style question. Do Democrats trust the media because they're Democrats? Or are they Democrats because they trust the media? Interestingly enough, this may explain the perception that right-leaning content is more successful on YouTube. According to Vice, The Guardian, and Mother Jones, to name a few, YouTube has become a tool for right-wing radicalization, where far-right content thrives and corrupts the minds of innocent young viewers who may stumble across Ben Shapiro while watching PewDiePie, or be introduced to Jordan Peterson while viewing the H3H3 podcast. Won't somebody think of the children? But perhaps the real reason conservative content thrives online isn't due to some right-wing Silicon Valley conspiracy, if there could ever be such a thing, nor a mere lack of oversight from moderators. Perhaps conservative-leaning content is so popular online because that's the only place where it's allowed. The data makes it clear that people know they can count on their television to deliver a left-leaning message. Maybe the entire reason they're visiting websites like YouTube mm. is to hear something new. In the end, media bias, left-leaning or otherwise, is unavoidable. One of the many inescapable products of human frailty. Don't trust a single source. Fact check everything. And above all, remain skeptical. This video was sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Do you groom yourself? Probably not, but you should, and Dollar Shave Club is a great place to start. They've got all the top-of-the-shelf products that would cost a fortune elsewhere. With their face and shave bundle, you'll get their executive razor handle, a full cassette of four razors, a tube of their amazing shave butter, and a tube of their awesome face cleanser. Join the club with one of their starter sets for just five bucks. After that, the restock box ships regularly sized products at the regular price. Get this exclusive deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash freedomtunes. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash freedomtunes.